All right, so I'm working on the 40 Chevy right now. Um, we're getting ready for to do some uh, light bondo work, kind of just like preliminary. Um, we widen these fenders, so we have to make sure that all this is flat before we bondo it, um, especially in the seams here. Uh, the way to, that we do that is use body hammer set. Uh, it's just a basic body hammer set. It's got different shape heads. They do different things. Etc. Um, basically, all you do is you sandwich the metal between here. Um, so it's kind of hard to show here, but, but like say you put this back here, and you put it up against here, and then you just bang on it until it's flat. See these dents here? Uh, basically, this was sandblasted probably 20 years ago, and it had some little surface rust on there. So all you do for that, just take take a little grinder. Um, I use just a little three inch here. You can use bigger if you'd like. And the grinder will actually show you where the low spots are and where you need to work. Um, as you see, can see right in here and right up in here, it's low. So that means you need to pound it out. Otherwise, um, even more foolproof method is to actually close your eyes and just feel for it. Uh, you feel for the low spots and then bang it out, adjust until um, it's right, till it's perfect. The better the metal work, the less bondo, so that's always good. Uh, less chance of bondo cracking. And then when you are uh, pounding on this, you want to make sure when you're pounding out like little dents like in here you want to make sure that um, you don't go too far uh, just a little bit at a time otherwise if you go too far you have to pound it back and you can get what they call oil canning or tin canning um, where it actually it's like you can push on it and it pops in and out and it's really it's really bad that happens when uh, metal gets stretched too far or stretched too much um, another thing to watch out for is since all this is one piece if you bang out right here in one spot, then it takes away from another spot. So, I mean, it's it's pretty subtle. But say you have a big dent, like right, just a big dent right here. Uh, if you bang it out around the edges, then it stretches the metal and it actually changes its shape everywhere around it. Um, it's very, very subtle. But if you're banging out big stuff, uh, you can notice. So just keep that in mind, the metal stretching, and uh, you don't want to go too far. You just kind of got to think ahead of time and um, take your time. It's really a thing of... The more time you take, the better it's going to turn out. Uh, basic body hammer sets are about 30 40 bucks. Um, these are a little more expensive ones, uh, but you can get them at like Harbor Freight or whatever. If you're just doing like a single job or you don't think you have that much to do, then I would recommend one of those cheap sets. Um, otherwise, it's really just the heads are a little different quality. Uh, the hammers are, or the handles are a little better wood. Um, these are really old, but yeah, so just take your time. Uh, basically make sure everything is how you'd like it before you start bondoing. Uh, it's a really important step and it'll help your paint job and the way it turns out if you spend more time in this step. Another important thing to know about hammering and dollying, um, you can see this dolly has different shapes on it. This right here is flat, this right here is a little concave or convex. Um, this heel, or this is a heel dolly, uh, this is flat, see this is curved. So basically, um, to use this, you're going to want to basically have your metal, if you want your metal to be this shape, you obviously just put the metal around here, or just bang around here so it forms that shape. But if you want to do something like custom, um, if you look at this angle on here, you see the angle is, this one is way too sharp. Um, this one is about right. But if you want, if you have something that you don't have a, the right hammer and dolly part, um, or the right shape, you can always uh, also make something. So say you have a piece of wood, uh, like a 2x4, and you want to like, you want to shape your metal to a specific shape, you can actually take the 2x4 or a piece of wood, chunk of wood, and cut it out with the saw and kind of smooth it um, and kind of use that as a dolly. Now, uh, an important thing to know about that, yeah, it'll work. Uh, it's going to take you a little bit longer though because the wood is obviously softer than the metal here, so it's um, going to take some more, dig some more banging uh, to get it to fit to the shape, to the shape of your wood. Um, but that's a, that's a good thing to know because uh, not everything, not all hammer and dollies, or not all dollies have every shape that you're going to need. Um, so just keep that in mind. You can always improvise uh, whatever you want to do for shapes.
Metal work here is looking pretty nice. I'm happy with how it turned out. There's not going to need much filler, so that's always good. Uh, I got all the lips in here nice and everything. So just some bondo work and uh, then the hard part, the sanding. <laughs>